Hey everyone, this is Mike. And I'm Michelle. And we are Lovey's Fat Life. We're your food and travel. That's what the fat stands for. Not that I'm... But hey, we're here to talk about a few items, a little bit of a con list with the Carnival Magic. We just got off of her a couple months ago, what, about a month ago. Uh, March, right? It's yes. April, so yeah, a month ago. And uh, we had we got a video coming out with all the things we love about her, which there are far more things we love about the Carnival Magic. Yes. There is a list of seven items I have here, seven items that we uh, had issues with on the ship. Some of these may be at the time of the year that we sailed, but um, we'll just tell you our list and, and let you know ahead of time before you get on the ship and see if yes. you notice these things or not. And maybe maybe it's just us. Maybe we're being nitpicky. I don't know. We always come up with a pro and con list driving back home from a cruise. So uh, number one on the con list, and it just could be the work environment right now on cruise ships, yes. was the long wait times in the MDR. Our food was excellent. We loved it. Um, but it did take a long time, and the server seemed really pushed. Yeah, we talked to one of the servers there, and the server said that uh, normally they had six people work in their section. They only had five. This was on a C-Day brunch day. So it sounds like they had less people in their area, and they, they said the main person over the area had to take on more responsibility. So it was long wait time. Sometimes it was an hour, hour and a half before you got all your food uh, yes. on, on nights in the MDR. I will say this though, uh, the MDR food that we ate, and there'll be another vlog on this if you had checked it out already, uh, was really good. Yeah, there's no complaints. And, and I'm not a big carnival food MDR fan, no. but the food, the food was really good uh, in my opinion. Um, second, Michelle, and this probably breaks her heart to say this. So typically I love the seafood shack. I don't really like seafood that much, but I love the seafood shack shrimp. So I was, that was my first thing that I wanted to get. And I was so disappointed. The shrimp were like half of the size that they normally are and very overcooked. Yeah, I have to agree. Now, when I tasted it first in the video, when we do it, it was, I was like, hey, this ain't that bad, but they were really small. And I even asked another lady there, I was like, you know, did you notice that the, the shrimp are smaller? She says, yeah, they're a lot smaller than you normally are. Normally you get these 10 or 12 jumbo shrimp to eat. And they're just excellent. And we always get the buffalo shrimp. Mm -hmm. And uh, this time they were small. French fries were always good. Yes. French fries were good. I've got some uh, uh, pull. Uh, no. <laughs> I've got some peel and eat shrimp. Uh, that was okay initially when I first tasted it, but then the more I started eating, I was like, oh, this, ain't, this ain't hitting on much. So, um, but one thing I did get at the Seafood Shack, seafood shack that I, that really impressed me, shocked me, was the clam chowder. And um, that was excellent. In fact, it was so good. We ate there twice because we thought maybe the first time was just a bad, it was the first day we were on the ship. So we tried it the second day. Same problem with the fried shrimp both days. This time, I, I tried the uh, clam chowder twice. It was good, right, Michelle? Yes. The lobster roll is not as good as the horizon. Lobster though. roll was not as creamy. They did. I did like the bread they have better. It wasn't a hot dog bun. It wasn't like a hot dog is. bun, but it, it was. The bread was good, but it was not creamy, and, all, and there wasn't a lot on it. No. All right. So, okay. let's get off the seafood shack. All right. Let's talk. Let's, complain about, broke. let's complain about something else. Okay. So, Kachinas. Oh. The specialty dining was excellent. Vlog will be out on that, but the pay the free version during the daytime. And we were so excited about this too. Yeah, we, we waited actually to the last sea day to go mm -hmm. to Kachina's on the free version. Uh, number one, you're right there at a window and people are laying out in the sun and our son kind of laughed about it. They're out there fixing themselves up and bathing suits. I think it's suits. a mirror that they it, don't it's know mirror, they're mirror they don't know you're there. there. I mean, there's nothing to complain about there. It was just funny. The basketball playing played on the deck above Boom, boom, felt like it was boom. coming through yes. the dining area yes. uh and hey i can live with that too but the poor thing was was we waited forever to get our food when i say forever i'm talking 45 50 minutes right. before we got our food and, and i never somebody got never got their food at all i never got my food when she delivered um, mike and anthony's food she said oh you haven't gotten yours and i was like no which would I think alert her to go get my food, but uh, she never returned. Um, so we were very 
disappointed. So when we left, I did go tell the lady that, hey, you know, just want to let you know this. She was the manager of the area that, hey, uh, you know, we waited 15 minutes and my wife never got her, got her lasagna. She did offer to go get one and bring it back and let us go with it. But at that point, it I was, was so ticked by she them. She was so upset. There's like, let's just go. So it wasn't a Karen moment. We didn't show ourselves or no, anything like that. No, we didn't get a guy's burger. We didn't got a guy's <laughs> burger. I think she was more happy about the guy's <laughs> burger. Um, the next thing is the ship is showing its age a little bit. Um, number one, there was rust on the balcony. Yeah. Um, on the balcony, you saw a lot of rust on the floor area. And it just, you know, Carnival needs to touch up the paint a little bit. I know it's hard to get out there and do all that. And a lot of that may be cosmetic. But, you know, we're paying a lot of money for these balcony rooms nowadays. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just a lot of rust out there. It was clean. Um, and like... The overall ship wasn't really, unless you count the green, um, wasn't really showing its age. But specifically on our balcony, it was. Yeah, there's a lot of rust. And. Go ahead and say it, Michelle. Our bathroom floor was soft. There was an area when you stood on it, it mushed down. And. I thought I was going to go as big <laughs> as I am. I thought when I got out of the shower and stepped out, I thought I was going to fall through to the deck below down to eight. A floor was very cushiony and soft. It felt like it's it was, not supposed to be. It was feel like it was given an inch away every time you took a step in there. And then oh. the final thing, Michelle, oh. what was happening with the toilet? We had some kind of a toilet. I'm not sure what was wrong with it. And it from the time we got there to the time we left, it made the same noise. It sounded very much like a washing machine when it's on the vibrate and the the wash mode constantly. Mike asked our room store, "Is this supposed to sound like that?" So, oh, it's okay. Oh, it's okay. And it, <laughs> but it sounded like there was water running behind oh, the yeah. behind the wall. Which may be why that our might floor be why was the floor soft. is soft. I don't know. <laughs> and we did notice on that deck uh, out in the hallway of the nine where the elevator, and we weren't far from the elevators at all. They had constant fans blowing to dry the floor off. So maybe they they were having some issues that we're trying not to tell everybody about. <laughs> but we did, you know, we did know that it didn't stink or anything. No. Uh, so number five on our list is the rec warehouse location. Michelle, yes. you remember where that was at? Yes. It was tucked in a corner on the very aft of four. Yep. In a very secluded corner, which may be okay. Yeah, I mean, the location of it I get because it's near the kids' area. Um, but the, really the complaint with it is the games were down. They had a lot of games down. We took our son a couple times to it. And Anthony loves He to loves go arcade, in there. yeah. And there, there was probably four or five of the games he normally plays all the time. That either you it would take your money and wouldn't you know I, I don't know I'm not going to go up and say anything over a dollar fifty, but it would either take your money, or the games were just down. They had signs on them, so that was, that was a little disappointment that the warehouse games were not right. in better shape. Right. All right, number six, Michelle. We felt, and this could be a spring break issue, but. We have one every year, so I would think that um, Carnival would be more prepared for um, the the issues that go on with spring break. But we felt like there wasn't enough security. All right, so I only saw one security guard uh, on the ship the whole time, and I wasn't intentionally looking for him. That was when they were having the white party uh, in the main atrium area, and I asked him where the restroom was at. But like, I would have thought that around that kids area on deck four towards the aft of the ship, uh, you have to, we had to walk by that after leaving the casino to get on the elevators to go up to nine. There was always a bunch of kids there. It was spring break, we get that. And the kids were being very rowdy. Um, you know, overall, I'm not, it's not Carnival's fault that it's spring break. It was one of the worst cruises we've ever, probably the worst cruise we've been on with mm -hmm. kids acting out, you know, tearing stuff off the we doors. Heard about beating and banging threatening people in the elevators. elevators i had two kids come up to me and try to you know talk stuff to me um but it just seemed like there was no security there and i personally feel like carnival should have the curfew of at the minimum 11 p.m instead of 1 p.m for right. teenagers and young adults like that because there's they were, nothing good going no, on that there's way. nothing you do on that ship except go for the casino i mean at that time but that's just my personal opinion on me it. too all right, so the last thing we have, yes, uh, number seven, is there was only one entrance to get back on the ship um, from the ports. 
two days yeah i don't know why they had like you could get off on multiple areas like the middle or forward right. on the ships but when everybody came back on they were pushing you to the far they were push, pushing you to the forward mm -hmm. which was a further walk both times in amber Cove. and the farthest away from our room and grand turk yeah and our room was in the after the ship but they made you go all the way to the forward one mm -hmm. And when I brought it up to the guys, like, hey, you know, why don't you have... Because they would have somebody stand outside the middle... Gate. Gangway. Yes. And, and, and like, no, you need to go to the other side. And then when I went down and asked the person at Ford, I was like, well, why can't we go on the one in the middle? He got on the phone, but he we got never on, got... He got on the phone to call somebody, and he's like, oh, it's open. I was like, no, no it's, it's not. not. <laughs> They're pointing us down here this way. And that happened on two occasions. Now, I understand if they don't have enough staff, maybe, but... It, it just i don't know I, it just something was not that's right. the only time on any cruise and we've been on nine or ten cruises now that we we've had a problem getting back on the ship where they made right. you go all the way down to I mean, there's only one entrance a long back on. line when you're when you've only got one entrance back in all right so that was our list that's our list uh listen I, we're not wanting to be debbie downers and make say the carnival magic is a horrible ship no fact, it's not no it's a great ship we love it Yes. But those are a few cons we thought we'd bring up in case you're watching this. Yes. And uh, some of these things, you know, hey, maybe it's just learning experience we need to learn, you know, down the road to kind of deal with it in advance. But I do there's do think it's a different time and Carnival's cut back yeah. on their staffing Sadly. and it's making it harder uh, for everybody on the ship working and it's making it harder on their guests that are coming on the ship and paying good Agreed. money for it as well. But you guys have a great one. Thank you for joining Mike us. Mike and Michelle with Lovey's Fat Life. we got plenty of videos coming out on this Carnival Magic. We're probably going to have between 30 and 40. Mike will make sure of so it. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Bye. Thanks. Bye.